Hello, Music Bear uh, here. Well, today we're going to talk about um, Elements uh, 1.1.0 because we have this guy, the new FX Mixer, and it has some features that's um, it's new. And I'm going to talk about these features uh, in this tutorial. Uh, when you open your uh, Elements 1.1, I call it Elements because LMS is difficult to say all the time. Um, you have this mixer that can um, seem strange if you have had previous versions of uh, Elements. And this is a very uh, uh, much better uh, mixer than the f uh, the former mixer because it now has the ability to send to channels and you can do uh, interesting things with this feature like channel separation you can make side chaining much more interesting um, and uh, uh, you can do other things like duplicating an instrument uh, without actually having two instruments but we're just going to take uh, it step by step and this is the first thing you see you only see you have master channel and it's not really rocket science to uh, uh, to understand that if you press this huge plus sign um, something will happen and what will happen is that you get a new mixer Sorry, not a new mix, a, a new channel, of course. Uh, and now we have a master and a new FX channel. What I like to do in this situation is to uh, rename this uh, channel here so that it will fit to the uh, to, to the actual instruments in the song editor. I have some here, you see I have uh, just tossed some uh, instruments in here uh, for they're not very interesting at all I'm dropping my microphone now. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you open an instrument you know that it will show you uh, its FX channel, you see the, the, the channel in the mixer that it is connected to and it says zero here and that is the master channel that's the default so we'll actually change that to uh, uh, fx1 and if i try to change it to fx2 you see nothing happens i'm turning my mouse here. i don't know if you can hear it uh, but nothing happens and that's because we don't have an uh, mixer channel 2 what i so so it's it's one there's nothing to talk about there so i've just copy this here and I'll go to the mixer and I will put this in here rename channel and drop it there so now I have a um, information about uh, the, the, the actual instrument connected to this channel later we are going to make sure that you can do that directly here so you can just say when you change it here you can push it directly into that channel but that's a coming feature once don't know when but it will come um, and if I play some notes on this you'll see that it's connected to the uh, channel when I when I highlight when I highlight this a name here the name of the channel I get this channel in focus you see the, the channel in focus default is master but when I highlight or select this channel it's selected now it will also show me which channel in the array that is going to receive this signal and default that will be the master channel so the signal from this channel, the uh, an 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 um, 
it will go to the master channel and if we play some notes we will see that uh, that is correct because uh, I have turned the, the, the sound so much down because if I don't you can't hear my voice I'll try to do it now and you'll see that right I'll turn that down again because if I don't you won't be able to hear my voice and believe me I know what I'm going to uh, play and that's not as interesting as my voice in this case uh, <coughs> so we now know that the channel 1 whoops, goes to the master it says sent but in a way I feel that it actually used to say receive because that is what happening it is receiving the signal from uh, mixer channel 1 it's going to master okay also when I have selected a channel it is the one that has bearing to the effect chain so if I put in an effect here now I could say an amplifier for instance then I have put the amplifier inside the FX of uh, uh, the FX channel 1 not master if I change to master you can see it disappears again so the amplifier I just uh, inserted is on channel 1 I remove it uh, so when I select master I get a completely new effect train okay so that's not different from, uh, from from before but if you don't have seen any mixer before then it's perhaps good to know I now add a new FX channel and it's called 2 by default so we'll pick it up here and very irritating I also think you can double click it in. Yeah. So, ding. In it goes. And uh, you can see we have a little problem here that the names are being obscured by the. Um, by the. Um, uh, the, uh, the channel display, but down the road, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, and I have two channels and um, you can see that channel 1 now have a, uh, a button sent but it is inactive so if I say that I do not want the signal from my channel 2 to go to the master channel I can disconnect it now it's not going to master it's in fact it's not going anywhere if I want it to go to the this channel I can activate it here and I can decide how much of this channel is going to go into the channel 1 how much of 2 is going to go to channel 1 I could of course also if I now close that down I could of course also have chosen that here so how much of the signal is going to go into master channel right so this is how you sense or bus or direct a signal to another channel I focus the channel I want to go uh, to send to another channel and I choose the channel I want to send to in this case this one and that one goes to master so now it goes nowhere and now it goes to master now I have two channels both going to master and that is what you default would like all the different channels should go to master but not if you're going to make for instance a side chain or if you're going to make um, a wet dry separation and we're going to look into that now
Nå skal vi bare stoppe den her. Så tager den anden. Ja, vi stopper den her.